Hello friends, my name is Christina. Welcome to the channel. I am super excited for this video because I am sharing with you all one of the planners I am using for 2023. And that is a classic happy planner. I know it doesn't look like one, but it is. It's giving me cloth and paper vibes. Um, I have been patiently waiting for this to arrive in the mail and it's finally made its way home to me. I just got so excited to have this planner that I already planned out my January plan with me, um, but that's, I'm going to save that for another video. So I'm starting this video off with a flip through and while I do that, I'll share what I plan on using it for. So let's get started. I am obsessed with this minimal chic sophisticated faux leather cover i love how it says 2023 with the numbers embossed onto the cover um this planner is a um i forget what they call it oh it's a classic size happy planner and so the measurements for this is seven inches by nine 0.25 inches. I did find it odd that the back of the planner here, um, the rings show, but I think it's like that because this is a disc bound. So you can't have these discs here on the um, binding. I did think this was kind of odd, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of used to it now. Plus you don't really see it. I mean, it's always faced down like this. So yeah, not that big of a deal, but definitely something new to me. <laughs> um, other than the cover, the work plus life label is also a feature that attracted me to this planner. I mean, I found that this would be my social media planner. Yes, I am finally dedicating a whole planner to my content. Um, last year I didn't, I was just using monthly overviews in my passion planner, but no, this year I wanna just dedicate a whole planner. It was very helpful, but the system I had in place just wasn't efficient. So. I just came to the realization I need to just have a planner that is dedicated to my social media content. So let's see what this planner is about. Um, right here, there's a line here, a space for me to write down my name. Um, this is an annual weekly planner, which runs from January to December. So starting off, we have um, holidays here to the left and then a yearly overview. Um, I don't know if you can see, but some of the days are highlighted in gray. And so I think that corresponds with the holidays here to the left. This, oh my gosh, is so helpful because I usually have a page in my bullet journal that lists out at least like my big um, accounts. I don't have every single like email account and the password um, in my bullet journal, but I have um, just like the main ones that I need in there just in case I don't remember or um, I don't have access to like my phone or uh, my last pass account, which holds all of my um, accounts and passwords, but I like that I have a page here in my planner. The following two pages is a year at a glance. To me, I kind of use this as a future log. Um, a future log in bullet journaling is just a space for you to uh, just fill in important dates, appointments, events, vacations. Um, ahead of time. You don't have to go to your monthly overview and fill it out there. I prefer to place everything on these pages first. And then when I'm setting up my, let's say April plan with me, I like to um, transfer that at that time. This is just perfect so that I don't forget anything. This here, it goes from January to June for these two pages. And then the weekends 
are highlighted in gray. So that's, that's really helpful. The next two pages are July through December. And then it looks like we have a notes page here right before the January monthly overview. Now, this is an annual weekly planner which runs from January to December. The neutral cover pages reminds me of cloth and paper. And then we have an inspirational quote here at the very bottom. For January, it says, difficult does not mean impossible. Um, so I'm not gonna show you January because I already set that up. So let's skip to February. So we just saw that the January cover page is white. So it looks like the cover pages are alternating between white and black. And then there's a new inspirational quote at the bottom of the page for February. It says, take time to make your soul happy. So let's check out the monthly overview. This is the monthly overview. I love how minimal this is. I mean, we just have the month here, um, 2023. We have a small notes column here to the left, and then you have a mini calendar here of the month before, so January, and then March, the month after. I just love that this is you know, there isn't any decor, there isn't any print here along the edges of the pages. I love that it's just a blank canvas and I can do whatever I'd like with the pages. Like I can decorate them however I want them to. So the weekly overview, oh, I take that back. The next two pages, it looks like we have a goals section for specifically February, um, a section for things that we need to focus on, important dates, and a giant to-do list. I really, really, really like this. Like this is gonna be, this is just gonna come in handy when I am writing out all of the things I need to do in preparation for a video or whatever I have going on that month. This is a very small detail, but here at the bottom left-hand corner are the holidays. So February, we have Valentine's Day on February 14th. February 20th is President's Day. Um, after that, we have a huge notes page here. I know that this is gonna be filled up. Another minor detail is at the bottom of this notes, notes page, it says the only limits in life are the ones you set. So I'm curious if all of the notes pages have quotes. Like we just looked at, let me see. Okay, so no, this one didn't have one, but we'll look for the next month. This weekly format is known as a vertical layout. So you can use this format to effectively plan out your days, whatever fits your lifestyle. So you could do morning, afternoon, and evening tasks, or you can divide the boxes into work, school, and personal tasks. I'm using this as my social media calendar. So I think what I'm gonna do is use the top row for pre-production task, um, which includes creating outlines, treatments, and voiceovers for a video or photo. The middle section is used for scheduling shoots and edits. The last row is used for when I plan on posting content. I'm gonna try that out and then see how that works for me. I mentioned this earlier, but the cover pages alternate from black and white. And then there is a different quote at the bottom of the cover page for March. It says, stay humble, work hard, be kind. Now I'm not gonna go through the entire planner. Obviously the monthly overview and weekly setups are pretty much the same, but I will show you the cover pages and the quotes. 
So April, it says, see what happens if you don't give up. For May, if you change nothing, nothing will change. For June, great things never come from comfort zones. 100% true. I learned that with acting. Some of you guys may not know this, but I went to school for theater and then I lived in LA for about six, seven years and I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> and so I remember going to an acting studio and we would purposefully put ourselves in situations that made us uncomfortable um, so that when you're on set, nothing really phases you because you've embarrassed yourself plenty of times before. <laughs> um, for August, um, it is now white. Um, this quote is, live fully in the season you're in. For August, we have just do the best you can. That's so relevant. I mean, for me now being a mom, <laughs> just we're just trying our best over here. <laughs> for September, um, it says a little progress each day adds up to big results. Yes, that is my planning. That's, that is my way of planning. I love just, I was that kid in school who, if we were given a project that was due at the end of a quarter or, or a semester, I was that kid that would plan it out and I would do a little bit every day or every weekend just so that the day that the project is due, I, um, you know, I wasn't rushing to get it done. I wasn't stressed out. Um, so for October, it says without risk, there would be no magic. November, it's a perfect day to start. You know, I kind of like that for November because the since the new year is, you know, at this point in the year, the new year is upon us. And some people want to wait until January 1st to start those resolutions or goals. And honestly, you can start those at any time of the year. It does not have to be January 1st. And then last but not least, we have December. This one says, listen to your heart above all voices. And then um, let's see if there's anything different back here. Okay, so I think, yeah, so we just have the usual, a notes page after the weekly setup, but we do get a sheet of stickers. I love, 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 because these are gonna fit in those boxes. Um, really really nice and pretty i love the color palette and then we get a folder you guys this is nice i like this that is it for today's flip through i'm obsessed with this planner i can't wait to share some plan with me setups in here in the new year i will be posting a happy planner january plan with me very soon so please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you'll know exactly when i post that video now it's time for the giveaway Today is day six of my 12 days of planning series here on my channel and as some of you know that includes a giveaway. The item included in the giveaway is this Archer and Olive weekly sticker roll. I feel like this would last you a while. There's definitely a ton of these in this one roll. The stickers alternate between this navy blue, baby blue, and beige color. There's a calendar starting on Sunday and then a boxed sticker. In order to enter this giveaway, you'll need to be a subscriber, like this video, and comment down below what goal do you have for 2023. As a reminder, you do have an opportunity for additional entries, and that is simply by watching the other 12 days of planning videos in my series and commenting on those videos. I'll see you all tomorrow for day seven. Bye!